G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, file management is something that is confusing to a lot of people, especially inside of Microsoft Teams. Where do these files live when I upload a file to a chat, to a group chat, to a team, and that type of thing? And I came across this recently, uh, internally actually, and I just wanted to explain um, a little bit of uh, the ins and outs of what happens to your files when you upload files to a group chat as opposed to uploading it from your OneDrive and then determining where where and what file you are actually working on just to make sure that everybody is looking at the same document and we're not changing uh, the wrong document in a different location. So the scenario is that I've got my files located in my OneDrive. They're not shared with anybody. They're just living in my OneDrive. I've also got a group chat all right, so I've got a group of people I'm communicating with inside of Microsoft Teams, and then I go to upload a document to that group chat. What happens to that file? Where does it go? Do we continue to work on that? What happens if the members of that group chat are working on that file, yet I'm working on the one that I thought was in my OneDrive, and I thought that I shared with that group, I'm working on that, but it's a different file. I make changes, they can't see it. They make changes to their document that they think is my document. I can't see those changes. What's going on? So let's have a look at this, this, this scenario in particular and where these files live. So we're inside Microsoft Teams. I'm just gonna jump into my chat here and I've got a group chat here with a couple of people. So you can see here, there's, there's three members of this group chat and I've got a couple of files that I've um, shared through here. Now we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna click down here into the new message box. I'm going to attach a file and I'm going to upload from my computer. Now when I go to upload my, from my computer, because I store all my files in OneDrive, naturally what I would do is go to OneDrive and I would go to this uh, annual financial report draft. Okay, actually that one's already shared. So let's choose a different file. Let's go to CE annual report. So we'll jump into open up CE annual, annual report and we are going to add this to the chat. Once this is uploaded here, you can see I can change the settings, I can determine who can do what, and I'm gonna select the people that are currently in this chat, and I'm going to allow them to edit. So we'll hit apply, all right? So we're gonna change the link, and then what we'll do here is we will send that and share that through there. Now, if we jump up to the files tab here, what we'll see, that file has been uploaded just to here, all right? now. If I go back to my OneDrive and I continue to work on this file here, which is the one that I may have thought that I had just shared with that group chat, you can see here that I can edit this document. Let's just delete this, uh, delete this title. We'll delete the heading like so. It's automatically saving. Now, when I jump back into my Teams chat and I open this document, what we're gonna see is those changes are not reflected. All right, because what we've actually done is we've uploaded this document to this location, to this group chat, even though that file lives in my OneDrive, I actually uploaded that to this group chat. So it's a, it's a completely separate copy of that file. So how do we alleviate that issue? So let's close this file and let's do it a little bit of a different way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to chat and we're going to go to attach, but this time we're gonna choose OneDrive, all right? And then what we'll do is let's select another file. Let's choose Contoso Purchasing Permissions, and we will share this instead of uploading it. So we can see here, again, I'll change the permissions to people currently in this chat. We'll hit apply. And what we'll do now is we'll share this document. And you can see here, I've shared the document, Contoso Purchasing Permissions. You can see the, ch the change in location. You can see that this is now in my personal OneDrive. So what I've actually done is shared this document as opposed to uploading this document to this group chat that lives in the Files tab. So if I click Files tab here, what you can see here, even though this has been uploaded to here, what we'll, what we'll see in just a second is when I open this 
and I make some changes to this file here. Let's just remove um, this first paragraph. Once it loads, we'll go bang and we'll delete that. Automatically saving for me. Okay, we'll close this out. We'll jump back into my OneDrive, which is open in this tab. We'll get to that purchasing permissions, which was this one here. We'll open that up. And I deleted that copy, I deleted that, um, that first paragraph. And you can see that that has now changed. And just to double check, let's highlight this text here and we'll make that bold. And we'll also increase the size to 24. We've done that, that's now saved. Let's now just jump back into Teams. We'll open up this Contoso Purchasing Permissions document. And what we will see is that has now, that change has now been reflected. So just to recap, where, the, where sometimes people can get confused here is that I'm in this group chat. Now I've got two options. I can upload or I can share from my OneDrive. Now if I upload from my computer, and I browse to my OneDrive here, which I'm in here, and I upload a document, even though I'm uploading it from my OneDrive, I'm uploading another copy of that file into this location, into this group chat. So it's a completely separate file, all right? If we wanna make sure that we're working on the same document, we can either share it from our OneDrive, so selecting this option here, or we upload it to this group chat, but we need to make sure that we're all working on the same file that has been added to this group chat here. So there's a, just to alleviate that confusion and just to make sure that everybody is working on that same document, you can either upload it to the file, up to the group chat, but make sure you're working on that file, or you can use the OneDrive option there to share that file and keep using the one out of your OneDrive. Everybody's still got access to it, but it's still the single file. So I hope that clears up a little bit, little bit of confusion there for you. Just make sure that you choose the right option and you continue editing the file after you've chosen that option. Thanks for watching. See you next time.